you very much. So, what kind of memory you, you thought about her? If I ask him, I think he's gonna talk a long time, so I'm not gonna ask him. <laughs> I have a feeling he's, he talks a lot. <laughs> so, the memories, you know, time, when time goes by, some memory will drop out, but some will remain. And recently, I'm thinking about what memory will remain to the last. I think what's essential of her, of what makes her as her, will remain to the last. I won't say, you know, as a memory that unnecessary, but what's important of her memory, what makes her as a her, will remain to the until very last, I believe. So, in that way, you meet her more purified way. In, so, you know, before the service, I ask you to think about her. This is not, you know, to make you emotional or anything like that. To, to, this is a, one of the way to meet her. You know, she is not physically with us, so you cannot meet what we meet, you know, like what we facing each other today. But we meet differently. You know, <coughs> it's not the same way when she was alive. And if you think, how does it change? What way we can meet her <coughs> is more purified way you can meet her. So more time we, we goes, by, goes by, some memory will drop out. But what's remained to the last, maybe what's what was essential of how we remain to the very last. So in that way, you meet her more purified way. Today we had a chanting in front of Amida Buddha. Oh, this is a altar in front of the altar. In, in the center we could have picture in it. This altar represents the pure art. It re represents the harmony or peace. But this is historically, culturally created, so you know, this is what, in, what is part, partly Japanese culture, partly Chinese culture. It's originally came from India, so it's, it's mixed with many cultures. But this is how they represent harmony or peace. And in center, we have Amida Buddha. This is also the symbol of the pure relationship or the spirits that you find in one of each of us, which seek for the pure relationship with that. So, if you think what kind of relationship with, you have with you and her, I said you can have a more pure relationship with her more time goes by. But also you can apply same things to your friends also. And, she has a very pretty smile. And I'm sure she was living, tried to live with people within the harmony. She, I don't see she's a kind to make her fight each other. You see? You don't, you, you don't, even you don't talk, you talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, this is a, just a, symbol of the harmony or the peace, this altar style. And in the center, it's a spirit of seeking mind, of seeking mind, of seeking for the peace, or seeking for the harmony. <coughs> That's why we say Namu Amidabutsu, which is we go back to pure spirits, or we go back to the spirit which seeks a harmony. And I believe she was also trying to create the harmony in, in this world. So that's why she, I put her picture within this altar. This represents harmony or the peace. And for us, what's important is, you know, <coughs> if we fight with, with your husband, wife, children, you know, we, we fight. But Always we have to go back to the mind that we, we seek for the peace or harmony. And 
Yes. So th this is the meaning why we observe the memorial service in front of Amida Buddha to go back to our spirits of seeking mind of harmony. And I believe she was also seeking the, other, the those mind. Is it okay? I hope it wasn't too long. <laughs> and if you if you want next time longer ones, <laughs> please let me know. I can have a five hours chanting. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure my throat is ready for five hours. <laughs> and make sure you bring your pillow. No, that's a, that, that's a joke. <laughs> so I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so thank you very much. So let us conclude with a gasho, or to conclude our service with a showing our respect to her. Namandamas. Namandamas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.